What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be making some zucchini noodles today with some marinara meat sauce. And I don't know if you guys have seen this uh, little device, but it's a, I think they call it a zoodle maker. It's about four or five bucks. I bought it at um, Walmart and this thing works awesome. I've used it a couple of times. It's a recipe video I did already um, making some other kinds of noodles. Um, so we're going to take the zucchini first, cut the ends, I'm going to be using about four small ones just to make enough for two meals. This is a really, really simple recipe. This is something you could actually make whenever without too much effort um, if you're really craving pasta. so you. Should, Put the noodles through here and you just turn. So here you have it guys, this is the, the noodles, the consistency, the, I did the thick side, it's actually got two sides, one for thinner noodles and one for thicker, I like the thicker ones a little bit better, they're more like a linguine, so this was actually uh, off of three small zucchini squash. So next we're going to dice up a couple of garlics, and this is going to give a lot of flavor to the sauce. So this is natural garlic. Make sure that you guys are using this instead of powder or anything like that because it's going to make all the difference in the flavor. This is one of those things that you can't skimp on. Same thing with lime juice. Always use natural lime juice because a lot of the artificial stuff or concentrate stuff tastes awful. It's not worth, not worth using. garlic we're gonna saute it that's gonna be the base of our sauce and we also gonna saute the noodles in a wok so what we do is drop some of this garlic in the oil and then we'll throw our noodles in we're not gonna steam these noodles because they're actually quite a bit more tender than pasta noodles. So if you steam them, they might get mushy because they're very thin. But it'll work better sauteed. Take some macadamia nut oil. Normally I would use olive oil for this, but I don't have any. We're gonna put some oil on our, on our wok right now. We're gonna heat it up and then we're gonna drop our garlic and our noodles. Once our oil is hot enough, and we're gonna drop about half of the garlic and the oil give it a nice garlic flavor I'm going to cook it on medium high and then drop our noodles Thank you. 
side pan. We're going to start up our sauce. And this is about a pound and a half of hamburger meat. We're going to be using this for our meat sauce. Once the noodles are reduced and they soften up, you want to set them aside and just finish your, your sauce. One thing you can do to speed this process up is actually make a batch of sauce at a time and refrigerate it or freeze it. And then all you got to do is just make the noodles and then pour the sauce over them. I'm just doing this today so I can show you guys how to make the sauce also in a simple way because I'm not making it from scratch. I'm actually using um, this organic um, spaghetti sauce that I found. Um, this is a wild oats parmesan uh, romano sauce and it's actually six grams of carbs with two grams of fiber per half cup which is a pretty good serving. So you're only really getting four grams of net carbs and it's organic and this stuff is actually less than two bucks per jar. So if you guys can find this stuff um, in your grocery store, I highly recommend it. This company's making some great organic products for really, really cheap. Here's the next step, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna drain some of the fat from this beef just because I don't want it to give it too much of a strong flavor to the sauce and also this is not on um, grass-fed beef so I try to limit um, the fat that I get from beef that's corn-fed um, so I usually drain the fat off of that put it back in the pan garlic in it now I'm going to lower the heat a little bit and throw in our organic spaghetti sauce. I'm going to let it simmer for about 10 to 20 minutes to kind of let 
let the meat marry the, the sauce. And these smell amazing with the garlic in them. Take some of our sauce. Pour it over the noodles. So guys, the recipe is done. You saw how easy that was. Um, if you really want to speed it up and make things simple, like I said, go ahead and make the sauce ahead of time and freeze it or refrigerate it. And the zucchini noodles take probably about five to ten minutes to have them ready. So this is something that you can make over and over again. Um, loaded with nutrients, uh, guilt-free if you're doing a keto diet, you know, very low in carbohydrates. Um, tastes amazing. And if you're missing spaghetti or pasta, this is a good way to replace it. Um, trust me, you won't be sorry if you try this recipe out. Again, guys, thank you for watching the channel. Remember to share with your friends so um, they keep us growing. And check us out at JustThatMuscle.com for all your supplement needs. Any questions you have, remember, send us an email. We'll be glad to help. And I'll see you on the next one.